Dear foreigner, I'm very sorry I was shouting terribly loud before we even met. I didn't mean to either scare you or deafen you, but I could not help it. It's funny how for months they teach you to behave appropriately, but the one time you need to prove the greatest control and civilization, you forget everything you've acquired, completely erasing the concepts from your mind. Your primordial instincts prevail on science, education, or even culture. After my initial confusion, I was looking at you and wondered, where exactly did you come from? With your black, almost almond-shaped eyes, sharp looks, gazing into the infinite. It was as if your attention was attracted by something far away from me, here, and those white walls around us. Snub little nose. Were you handsome? Not really, but there was a promise of harmony in your features. Though I did not know you, I'd never seen you before. And I was still hugging you tightly after all those tiring months of expectation. I'd been waiting for you my whole life. And yet right now, at this moment, you are a stranger, coming from an unknown place. Still, after just a brief physical contact, I already loved you. My son, defenseless creature, miraculously appeared in my arms as if all I ever did was holding you all my life and nothing else matters. It is extremely strange to have felt you inside me for nine months, talked to you and obsessively thought about you without knowing your true colours. And now I am studying you down to the smallest detail. You are for me a foreigner with unknown habits, speaking a different language, and I nervously realized that I do not know how to communicate with you. I became a mother after being a daughter until now. Later, we will get to know each other, but never enough. We will learn how to communicate, but we will speak different languages, given the generation gap that separates mother and boy. Even though I'm exhausted, I cannot stop looking at you, and I promise there will be only one valuable language between us. You have fallen asleep on my breast, and now I swear to you, my love will be our Esperanto. My love will be enough for both of us. Even when you are grown up and leave jabbering my nest, I will love you from now on and forever, and you will be less of a stranger. I will learn to know you, and you, sweetheart, will help me become a mother. I will love you deeply with an infinite love that asks for nothing, and I will live by reflex on your victories, and I will cry in secret for your defeats. I will find for you the strength of balance, and I will let you go in the fullness of time. I will push you away, as I pushed you a few hours ago to bring you to life. And I will play mother, and try to convey to you the funny side of life. It will be the most exciting adventure a woman can live. Twenty-seven years have passed since that first hug, and now you are a man. I should have given you this letter at the time, but you couldn't read, and I wouldn't have known how to write it. Your mom. Thank you.